Hey everyone! How's everyone doing today? I am doing very, very well. Alright, so it's our Pick a Stick ATC Challenge. Um, for those that don't know, this is a Facebook group where a group of ladies, every month, they take a whole bunch of sticks, like craft sticks, that have these prompts written on them, and they randomly choose these sticks. Hence, Pick a Stick. And then the challenge is, is to do it in the order that the sticks were pulled. Uh, there's two parts to it. One is the ATC, which is Artist Trading Card, which are the little bitty cards, the two and a half by three and a half. And I usually always start with this because there's only three prompts. So I kind of get my juices flowing thinking about this. And then the other one is... Um, the pick a stick challenge which is 10 prompts so that's like for your art journal a canvas whatever project you want to do it on so but today I'm doing the ATC challenge for November so there's three steps like I stated there's step one add a key step two use a random stamp set and then step three add diamonds so um, the way that they the way that you could do this is um, you you have to follow the steps, but you could do other things in between the steps if you need to, which I usually always do. So, with that said, let us get started. Alright, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Distress Ink in this Antique Linen, and I'm just going to put it all on the background of my... Um, thing here and we'll see how it how we go from there that's nice I like that just let's see let's spritz it why not just want, yeah, that's it. Ooh, baby, come on. Ooh, I like that. I like that. Let me dry that, and then okay. I'll be back. And actually, I'm just going to set this over to the side for just a minute, and I'm going to let that cool because I'm going to actually be using uh, some polymer clay today. I think I'm going to use my white because I can paint it to the color that I want it to be. So I'm new to polymer clay. So if I do faux pas, please forgive me. I'm still learning. So, oh, and um, constructive criticism is always welcome in the comments. I mean, you know, I always love learning new things. I'm, you know, I, I'm not so out there that I think I know it all because I don't. Um, but nasty comments, I will be deleted just to let you know. So I don't tolerate that in real life and I won't tolerate it on social media. That's just how I am. Um, everybody has a right to their opinion, of course, and everybody has a right to state it, but then again, you have your consequences to that. And for me, on my channel is I will delete, I will end up deleting those um, comments. So, alright, so what I'm making now is a diamond, because we're going to need diamonds on here. So, I'm just using my polymer clay, and I've rolled it out, like, into a little ball, and I've got my, uh, um, pasta maker, ah, see, I went too thin on it at first, and that just was a gloopy mess, so let me try it again. This is a total skill to learn this polymer clay stuff. It's a tricky little bear. All right, I think that's good. I don't want, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm taking this little um, cutter mold, whatever you want to call it, and I'm just going to end up cutting out. I'll cut out three, but I don't think I'm going to use all three. In my head, I already have something in my mind, but, you know. Good thing about this polymer clay is it doesn't dry out because you know it doesn't do that until you bake it. So, 
And then I'm just going to use my little knife thingy here, blade, whatever you want to call it. All right, so now I'm going to go bake that. I believe the instruction says at 250 for 15 minutes. It's on here somewhere. Yeah, no, 275 for 15 minutes because this is the Sculpty. So I will be back. Let me get this in the oven and then we'll continue. All right, I just thought of something else that I want to do with the polymer clay. So, again, I'm just rolling it into a sausage ball. And I got my little pasta maker. I'm going to use this heart. And I don't mind that it's got bubbles or whatever. It doesn't have to be perfect. This is, you know, this is just for fun. And, um, oh, my knife is in the kitchen. All right, so I'm going to bake this as well. So I've got three diamonds and one kind of big heart. And I got, this is a, actually it's a cookie cutter <laughs> that I got in the baking area at Joann's. And these little ones um, were at this, where the polymer clay was at, so... All right, I'll be back. Okay, and I do have this tile. Just wanted to show you. It's a ceramic tile. I have a whole box left of these from when I did my kitchen. So I have these that I will end up um, baking this on. So let me get this in the oven, and I'll be back. Okay, so I've got them done. Now let me tell y'all, like I said, I'm new at this poly, polymer clay. And when I first did it, the first time I ever worked with it, all the videos that I've ever seen, y'all hear that? Hear that? It's like hard, right? It sounds like tile. So the very first time that I did it, and it was out of the oven, I thought the minute that it was finished cooking, it would sound like that. It didn't. So I was like, oh my gosh, what is going on? It's not hard. It was still pliable, right? And so I was like, man. So I cooked it even longer, which, I mean, it didn't hurt it. But these, I let them go 15 minutes, and I've cooled them off. But just to let you know, they should be a little pliable. I'm not going to take the chance because I don't want to break these, but they should be a little pliable, just to let you know, in case you ever decide you want to work with them and they don't come out quite as this hard and they're still a little pliable, you're doing it right, so don't fear, okay? All right, so now I'm going to move on, and I've got this stamp. This is from stamppendus.com, or stamppendus. I got it probably Joann's and Michael's. I don't know where I got it, to be honest. One of those. So I'm just going to stamp the best I can. I know this is going to be more than my paper. But as long as I get most of this on here, I think I'll be all right. I think I'll be happy. So I'm just stamping it. Blah, 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 blah. There. Oh, isn't that cute? Looks like a little postcard. Exactly what I wanted. All right. Oh, and let, I just used my potting soil archival ink on it because <clears throat> I want it to be permanent. I don't want it to reactivate if I put stuff over it. All right, so now what I'm thinking of doing is, okay, so where are my pumps? Here they are. I'm still not to where I need to be. <laughs> All right, Ooh, let me get one thing. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay. So I think I want to add a tag on it, and I just have this tag, and I just cut off the end of it, and I'm going to make a shape shift tag here. Okay. Yeah, it's a little. Maybe I'll no, eyeball it. <laughs> oh, dear. I just keep making it worse and worse and worse. Don't I? <laughs> oh. All right. Hold on a minute. Let me let me make this better because this looks horrible. Hold on. Okay. That's just gonna do. It's just gonna have to do. 
Um, and I'm going to go ahead and ink it to. Alright. Spritz it. Cool, 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 cool. And I will dry it and then I'll be back. Okay, and then I'm going to let me put that in a little bit. Then I think I'm gonna use my crocodile and give it a good just use it and make a hole. still is wonky, 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 but it's okay. All right, now what I want to do is now I can add a key and use a random stamp set all in the same whoosh because I'm going to use this stamp set, which I got at Michael's. I don't quite remember. Um... Oh, it's by. So sorry about that. Okay, and you know what I think I might do? I might try to emboss this. Okay, I think I'm going to try to emboss it. I've never had much luck with embossing, so we're going to try it. Mm, let's see, which way do I want the key? Down like this. See, like, I don't know if my embossing stuff is even on there. Feel it. Hmm. Well. Let's try it again. Maybe that's dry. Maybe that's the problem. I do have some more ink. Do you have to use this ink or can you use regular ink? You know what? I'm going to try it with the regular ink. Why not? I don't think you have to use clear ink. I'm new to this too, so here, I'm going to use my, actually, you know what color I think I want to use? Hold on. I think I want to use my Timber. I love that brown. It is so dark and so luscious and so beautiful. It's my stays on. Timber brown. It's the darkest brown I have. And it stays on, so we should be good to go. Let me just clean up this. I'm telling you, I'm not a stamper, if y'all can't tell. All right, let's see. Are y'all in shot? You are now. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All I know is you're supposed to do like that, but. Well, I don't think it's going to work because it didn't stay wet. Okay, I'm not having any kind of luck with that. I don't know. Hmm. All right. Meh. I do want it to have the embossing on it. So, let me try the embossing again. I don't know what I'm doing incorrectly. Unless, like I said... And that feels like it's got stuff on it. Let's try it again. You know, just to line it up. Let's put my 
dropped them all in it. <laughs> oh, there it went. It worked that time. Well, I should have put... But see, then when I... Well, let's just get the heating tool. We're going to just try it out. Practice makes perfect, y'all. And um, I'm not perfect. <laughs> Therefore, I need to practice a little bit more. Okay. See, what I should have done, though, is put some cornstarch on that before. But that's okay. I don't mind that. It'll be all right. All right, let me clean up this mess and I'll be back. Okay, so now what I want to do is I have this from the same stamp set, but I just want to use the keyhole part. I don't want to use the key, just this part, just the little keyhole part. So I'm only going to stamp it. Again, I'm using my stays on Timber Brown because I love it. And I just want that, just like that. Okay. And now, I'm going to attempt to do this on. Hold on. Root. Let me. Sorry. <laughs> let me. Uh, let me paint this first before I do this. All right. I'm getting ahead of myself, as always. <laughs> Those that know me know I do that quite often. All right, let's see. What paint do I want? I think I want gold. Hold on, let me get my paint. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I have some of this patio paint metallic in gold, and I think that's what I want to use on this. You can use any acrylic paint on this polymer clay, though. When I made my little things to hold my Posca pens in, um, I, that's all I used, and it worked just fine. All right, I just need a little brush. And I'm just going to paint this guy. All right. Let me give this a good dry, and then we'll do another coat. Hold on, and I'll be back. Okay, I put several coats on it. Um, I lost count, so I don't know. Six, seven maybe? Quite a bit. But that's okay. All right, so now I'm just going to take... And I just want the keyhole. And I'm going to try to line it up as best as I can in the center of the heart. And then I'm going to dry that just to make sure it's nice and dry. Okay, so it's dry, and I think I'm going to put it right here, and I'm just going to use my Fabri-Tac. Any glue will do, but I just happen to have this just sitting right there, so. Okay. And then what I want to do with my... Alright, so now we need to add the diamonds. Well, I kind of wished I would not have put that down yet. Because I'm thinking. Kind of use these as I have an idea. I don't know if it's going to work, but I'm going to try it. I'll be right back. Okay, well, I'm going to take my blue antique and I'm just going to, oops, let's 
move this. Just do like that. Alright. I think I might even put it over the keyhole. We'll just see how this goes. Oops. All right. All right, and then once again, here. Just see if I can't blot that off. There we go. It's okay. All right, now I want to dry it. Just clear that off. Okay. Now I think I want to just splatter with the blue ink. Ugh, getting the ink everywhere. Yeah, I like that. Why not? Okay. Alright, let me draw that and I'll be back. Okay, so now I'm just going to go and smudge up the edges with my Potting Soil Archival ink, just to kind of ground it up a tad bit. And I'll do that around here as well. Okay, cute, cute, cute. Now I just need a square foam. Pop that up. Just wondering if I should spray this. Hmm. No, I think I like it like that. I think I like it like that. Okay. Uh, hold on, let me get my foam, hold on. Okay, and I looked through my thing of keys, and I found this little key, and it's cute. It says, love. Oh, perfect. So, I'm actually going to use my glossy accents, because it's got the smaller tip to put this on. So cute. And it fits perfect right where I did that other key. Cute, cute, cute. And I forgot my phone tags. <laughs> All right. Oh my goodness. But I'm not done yet. Hold on. I'm never done, y'all. I could, I swear, I could take all day doing these. All right. Hold on. I do want to get one more thing. I'll be back. Okay, before I put the foam on and everything like that, I'm just going to move this over to the side, let it dry. I'm going to make some, this is a seam binding. And I want it kind of to match thing there. Alright, let me clean this mess up. Let me dry this ribbon and then I will be right back. Okay, it's dried enough, I think. So now I've got some 
ribbon to put in there. Isn't that cool? I just love that seam binding because you can make your ribbon whatever color you need it if you got ink. You don't even have to water it down on my um, my baby book that I did. Um, I just used the stamps themselves. It worked out fine and then sprayed it after. Just used the ink pad. So, alright, let's see if this is going to work. It should, I'm hoping. Just want a little ribbon on my tie. And open it up. Open sesame. I'm turning into a blueberry. It's the snozberries taste like snozberries. <laughs> okay. Oh, come on. Come on through, blue. You know you want to. And it's like, no, 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 I really don't. I want to stay right where I was. didn't quite do what I wanted it to do, but it's good enough. Oh my, isn't that adorable? Now, I can take my, um, well, <laughs> it must have blew off in the heat. It did. I was blow drying it. Okay, I'm just going to stick this, um, minus the dog hair. I don't think I want dog hair on there. Alright. Take the backing off. We'll put it right there. Oh my gosh, y'all. Y'all, isn't that too precious? I love it. I want some more of it. Okay. Kind of tempted just to leave it that long. I kind of like it that long. I don't know. I'll decide that in a minute. One last thing and then I will let you go. Even though I will be sad to part. Hold on just a second. Okay. So I've printed out on my label maker, you have the key to my heart. Let's just see if this will work. Especially this, you have the key. It's awfully small, but, and it is clear tape too. And I'm thinking of putting it right here. I'm trim it down a little Midget, just so it'll fit. Yeah, all. I have the key, and then I have to my heart. I think I'm gonna put it right there. There's a glare. Let's see. Aww, isn't that cute? So I think that's it. I think that's all I want to do. I could glue these on there if I wanted to. Ooh, I think I'll do that. I think I kind of like that. Why not? Come back, bro. It's kind of like it's emitting. <laughs> hmm. You know what? I think it needs. I think it needs glitter. <laughs> Does it need glitter? It always needs glitter, in my opinion. Hold on, let me get my glitter. If you know one thing about me, you know I love my glitter. I've got the Stickles Mercury Glass. 
and I think I'm just going to put it where the keyhole is. Just like that. Yeah. Oh, see? That made it better. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the Talio Ponyo. I also have blue. This is blue. Here, let's try this blue. I've yet to be able to use this blue. It's just, I just kind of want to smear it on like that. Just to give it a little sparkles. Even though I do like the way that. Oh, yeah, there it is, y'all. There it is. What y'all think? I think it's adorable. So that's it. Just got to put my name on it and the date. And I am good to go. All right, y'all. Well, I hope this inspired you. And if you're interested in the Facebook group, I will put a link to that down in the description. So um, you can always join and have fun like me and get blue and become a blueberry. All right, y'all. Thanks so much. Or as Amanda said, um, I'm turning into a Smurf, which is so, uh, if you knew me in high school, my nickname was Smurfette because I'm very short. So there you go. And the Smurfs were big back when I was in high school. Oop, am I telling my age? All right, y'all. Thanks so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe if you've not already subscribed. And if you have, thank you so much. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, but don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified every time I post a video. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. Y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all.